Hello and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's. So in the previous episode, we finally finished the game and I noticed that there's a secret room right here, private. So I am going to try to go to that room. So what I'm going to do is uh, start from night five and do the opposite of what baby says. So when I'm going to the scooping room, when she says left, I'm gonna go right. And that way I might reach the, the private room since it's opposite of it, right in front. Let's try that. Turn back. I've died like five times trying to put that code in. Oh. I thought you couldn't die here, but you have to just be quick. Oh, please let me go. You must follow my instructions. Okay. So I go, go forward. I go forward. Stop. Forward. Go forward and, and left. Forward and right. Oh my god. Okay, so that did not work. Go forward. Access denied. It is a thing. So I can go there. How though? There has to be something I missed. Something like in night um, three where I could go in this vent right here and have a secret or something. Uh, trying to think. Maybe if there's an item I can grab. Hi guys. Now I've been thinking on how to access the private room and I actually been playing this for a while. Um, this mini game, and I actually already lost a lot of time. I don't think it will be fuck. So. Never mind. After countless deaths, trying to achieve the minigame, once I came back here trying to find a key or something that would help me because I also missed some pictures, uh, I noticed that if you put your mouse in here in the corner, you find a image of pixeled baby. And if you click on that image, you're right here in the minigame. So you don't actually need to die to get to this mini, which is extremely relieving since dying was not working for me. Okay, now let's try again. Okay. That might be taking a little too much time, and I don't really like that. 36. Ugh. Need to be quicker than this. Richard, okay. Might be able to. Um. No, I won't be able to make it because I almost did once. But it's lost in like three hours of trying to record this episode. So I don't think you will see it. Uh, 
That's a little trick I learned. You can actually go back. Okay, 18 seconds, okay. Then we have to head all the way back. Huh. Fucking sticky keys. God damn it. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, so I have to do a voiceover because while recording this part, especially, I forgot to turn on the audio. Uh, now, while I talked during this part, um, was about the time, like the counter, and I always try to get optimum time. So if I didn't cross there and I had 52 seconds left, I kill myself. And okay, 48 and things like that. I try to get optimum time because what I did not know is that this game gives you like two or three extra seconds to reach the goal. So every time it I fucked up, I literally kill myself, even though it didn't actually affect anything in the game. So yeah, so for example, here if I didn't cross the 30, I would throw myself through the hole. Now this uh, attempt is the final attempt. I beat this, and using the same strategy I always did, I didn't do anything uh, new. I did uh, no, actually I did nothing new. I did disactivate sticky keys this time. Because on the way back, all you do is press shift. Because you hold A and you press shift. And if you press shift five times, stick keys, activate, and well, you die. You start to feel like it was Scott's intention to do this. Like, he said, okay, people are gonna go back, how can I fuck them up? Because that is my job. And he said, I'm gonna make them actually stick keys. Because I'm gonna make them jump more than five times. And I'll make the fifth one, specifically, specifically the fifth one, a hole. Not here like I have to jump over a block. You have to jump over a hole, which is the fifth one. You get it. Okay, so here we have eight seconds, seven. I was actually doing a countdown in the video. Because I wasn't expecting to to reach the end after I did fucked up once and I did not kill myself so here it was like spamming the shoot button until tada we place the ice cream on the floor okay so what this is, is this is what baby was talking about before on night three if I am not mistaken where we go under the desk and she tells us how there always have been kids and she gave them ice cream and there, there, there was this one kid and she attracted her with ice cream and grabbed her and killed her. So as you see here we have two stars because of beating the game and now I'm going to try to go into the private room which is uh, yeah to the private room to see if I if this unlocked it. So what what I was saying was this girl is the same girl you hear during each night. Not baby, but the other girl who says, "Please, daddy, let me help her." So what is going on here is we are working where our daughter died. And here I actually was able to access the private room. I noticed that we go back to the previous original Five Nights at Freddy's for the special ending. And here we fight, well we not fight, we play against a new animatronic, like the one with the question mark we saw on the extras menu. And here was playing with a keypad, because I thought one made sound, none of the others did. So if we did one, nine, I, th I think I'm making nine, yeah. And then I was thinking, what could the code be? One nine. And then I remembered one nine, nineteen eighty seven. Let's see if I put the code, nineteen eighty seven. It did not work. So I kept thinking, one nine, one nine, nineteen eighty three. If 
Five Nights at Freddy's 4. And that came up. Those screens, I don't know what those screens are. I still don't know. I still have not beat this. I'm actually just uh, editing this just to have everything done and have it more organized. So, and I still don't know what those screens are. I played it up to like 5 a.m. Uh, in game 5 a.m. not real life and they do nothing or nothing that I noticed okay so here I'm just hearing out this animatronic the store and I actually figured out a kind of strategy it does not really work I always died at like 4 a.m. Um, 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. It's actually quite good, uh, but uh, it's I you I'm unable to reach 6 a.m. because when it turns 5 a.m. it's like I have uh, 19 17 percent energy power. So oh yeah, power is back from Five Nights at Freddy's one, and all the doors are back like Five Nights at Freddy's one, and. The cameras, well, they were in Finance of Freddy's 1, 2, 3. So we have 16 power. It's still 1 a.m. So what I figured out is that on the first hour, so from 12 to 1, nothing happens. Well, you have to listen and you'll notice nothing happens. And if something does happen, you'll notice quite right away. But it takes 15% power to ch per okay 15% of the power for one hour if you do absolutely nothing so the first hour just wait it off the second one you it's kind of the same you can get you uh, this animatronic will appear and you might need to close the door but around 70% it will become 2 a.m. Here I'm not using a strategy, it's the first time I played. But yeah. Now 3 a.m. To reach 3 a.m. is now okay, he's starting to become a, a dick. And he just starts pulling around, everything is audio, you don't really need the cameras. Just after you hear him like twice in one side or if he goes back if you hear him once again on that side then he will reappear and the third noise is that he is on the door and you have to play with that to reach 3 a.m. and then at 4 he can actually like skip an entire room so he can appear on camera like right there uh, jump back one room and then jump back again to the actual door and you have to block it that's the thing that's killing me the most at the moment however that's that once I was able to go around that being quicker but it's not like the original Five Nights at Freddy's one where you could see the cameras and you and if you're not looking at cameras they will not kill you this guy will kill you you can wait all the time you want he will kill you and it's not like five nights of freddy's one again at the end when you have like two percent and you have to wait it out because he will if you have even one percent and you wait it out he will enter and kill you if you run out of energy it's an insta kill you have those few seconds of holiness no so here we are at the end I'm checking everything out let's see what I was doing okay so I'm checking all the cameras that is something I should not do once he leaves you should not check all the cameras that's something I learned the hard way because I ran out of energy and like on 52% that's when you should turn to 3am and around 
uh, 36, 37, that's when you have to be 4 a.m., or that I know of. Actually, that's really, really bad. No, that's around 17%. 5 a.m., you should be at 20. No. Okay, I actually have no idea what I'm talking about right now. But I think you should at least have 20% for 6 a.m. Um, 20% for 5 a.m. So that means you need to be at at uh at 20 you have to turn five, and at 40 you need to turn four, which means at three you should be around 55 and still do nothing. I don't know. It's just kind of quite hard. It's mostly luck on the power consumption, but yeah. Now I'm gonna skip to what I'm doing right now. quiet because want to make sure that the hellos don't um what is this oh what is this called it doesn't mean movement yeah that's why i closed the door just in case five a.m we can do this we can do this really scared right there. Oh my god, that was so intense. I was extremely quiet. I'm extremely sorry for that commentary fail, but uh, the 1%, I had 1%. 
Let's just enjoy our soap opera. <gasps> we have the exotic wind, butters! So with different colors. I want to swear, I want to see a You burned down my house? You call that a house? It was like a morgue in there. I may be undead, but you're heartless. You need to see your son. The baby isn't mine. He ate the cat. Sounds like something he got from your side of the family. Well, how's this? I'm keeping the diamond ring. The joke's on you. I found it in a kid's meal. You bought a kid's meal? Oh, Vlad. Clara. <laughs> what? <laughs> As the hair on the back of the cat stands up straight, so also does the love between Vlad and Clara stand up against all obstacles. But what about the baby? What about the back child support? Stay Absolutely tuned happy. next season for those answers and more. I might have been recording for like two hours, or no, not two hours, maybe, yeah, one hour and a half, trying to beat this guy. What is this supposed to be? Field and Matronic, but why is it doing it in my house? Find us a face this location. I think we're done. I think there are no more secrets. I think there is no fourth star. Baby hand unit. Computer voice, Ballora. I'm trying to find if we can find the name of this guy. But baby Babs? No, that was the Clara. That was the baby. Narrator. Miss. Who did the boy, the little child's voice we, we heard while flight, fighting the animatronic? Created by Scott Cawthon. Who was the last Matronics voice? The end. Blue. Not red this time. Means we are not dead. Because red was the dead screen. Blue is the survival screen. The true ending. Okay. Press lead to, no, I don't want to delete all my data. Let's see what extras hold us. We got the exotic butters. Exotic butters. Exotic butters. Okay. Uh. Ennard. What the hell, Ennard? Making baby blueprints. Do we have something else here? No. Okay, that's all gonna be for Five Nights at Freddy's location, unless I find <clears throat> that there's a fourth star. Uh, I don't think so, since the menu like cuts through and it would, it would kind of cut through the star, so I don't think it is. Unless there's like a second layer and there are like six stars, but uh, nah, never. Mind. I don't think that he would put like five secrets, you know. Well, that's going to be all for now, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next series. Goodbye.